to announce the winner of November's giveaway, which was Tammy from Atomic Bloom. And I will get your package out as soon as possible. And extras, because I know that she loves Witch's Brew, so I will send her some because it's a long way to Canada. <laughs> And if I have to pay that much to get it there, then I would at least rather put something nice in there for her. And then on to this month's giveaway. I guess I'll come closer so you guys can actually see the dubs. First, we have a glass with miniature lavender skull bombs in it. Oh, God. See, I used to put lavender in everything. <laughs> so even these little skulls have it embedded into them, just as a warning. And then on top is brown sugar icing. Yeah. I know I just watched an unboxing uh, that Mackenzie did, and it was like, something peppermint with brown sugar icing and I was like oh my god what was I thinking and she was like mmm this is good <laughs> I don't know whether you were just being nice or whether it really smelled good but that's that's just weird thankfully I, I, I'll tell you why it's because when I was experimenting and learning how to do all this I didn't care what I had I would just use whatever I had, which most of the time was little sample bottles. And brown sugar was one of the things they were constantly sending me. So was uh, the rustic woods and rum. <laughs> so I would just, yeah, I would make everything out of it. Didn't matter if it matched or went together or anything. The next item is pumpkin pie lip scrub. I haven't heard back from... Sierra, who I'm sure is the one who probably tried this stuff out. I no longer make this. I'm really not interested. I'm probably not even good at it. If you get this, again, you gotta heat it up. I mean, I guess it all comes down to whether you like pumpkin pie. I'm honestly, all I smell is brown sugar, though. Next is these famous tubes of lavender salt that I made. Again, real lavender in there. Then you get a lavender bath bomb. This is only going to be fizz. It is totally misshapen and looks like a muffin. <laughs> this is what everybody tells me to do is put my ball my, my round bombs in a muffin tin so they don't get, lose their shape. However, <laughs> if you make these when the humidity is really, really bad, and, and it is here sometimes, I'm talking like 60 to 90 percent humidity, this is what you get instead. <laughs> so it doesn't hold the shape, it'll turn it into a muffin. Alright, and the last thing I'm including in this month's giveaway is an Eye of a New bubble bar to make it a little bit more interesting for you. A little bit. I can't sell this because this is one of the purple ones that I made and it doesn't change the color of the water. However, it will make tons of bubbles and it smells good. So I think you'll still like it and it's worth giving away.